Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. We're going to be looking at the new ColourPop release. It is the Child palette that is collaboration with Disney for The Mandalorian, which is a Star Wars TV show, I guess. I actually haven't ever watched The Mandalorian, but I grew up watching Star Wars. I actually posted on Instagram asking, would you guys like to see kind of a comparison between some different ColourPop palettes and then The Mandalorian palettes? And a lot of you guys responded with a yes. So I decided to sit down and film this video for you guys real quick because it does release at 10 o'clock PST and that's at one o'clock Eastern Standard. <laughs> Hopefully this gives you all the information you need. I pose this question to you. Do you really need the child palette from The Mandalorian if you have some of these other palettes? I took a swatch image from ColourPop's Twitter feed just to take a look at it and see if I could find some comparison swatches on some other palettes. I also watched a couple of reveal videos, one from Makeup Just For Fun. I took a look at her swatches and she also did some comparison swatches to a couple of different palettes as well, but there were some that she was missing. And so I'm gonna be looking at four different palettes and they are pretty much new releases, things that have come out within the last year from ColourPop. If you have these in your collection, maybe we don't need the new palette. I pulled out four different ColourPop palettes. Two of them are more of a brand new release and then we have the Meant to Be palette which was released I think sometime last year and then we also have Just My Luck. So the two palettes here, Just My Luck and Meant to Be, are two monochrome palettes. They are completely green. Just My Luck is more of a deeper green shade. The Meant to Be is more of a pastel shade. Hocus Pocus obviously was just released within the last month here. Lots of dark earthy tones. Garden Variety was also released this summer and it has some of those earthy tones in there as well as some of the greens that you see in the Mandalorian Child palette. From the swatches that I see, Precious Cargo, which is like the lightest shade in the palette, it's supposed to be a super shock shadow. It looks like it has a very silver undertone to it, but it might also be a little bit green. Kind of looks like it has a silver undertone to it. There is a shade that I'm seeing in the Mint to Be palette, which is this one right here. That one's called Play It Cool. I'm gonna swatch this really quick. It's almost like a really soft. This one is not a super shock shadow. It's just more of a foil shade. That one actually might resemble more of right hand mono. In the ColourPop's palette, it looks like it has more of a gold undertone. I think this one is gonna be really, really close to right hand mondo, which is the Play It Cool color from the Mint to Be palette. Sipping Soup. I'm gonna take a look at Yabos in the Hocus Pocus palette. This looks like that grungy green color. It's a little bit dark, but in the actual like palette picture, it looks really, really close in shade. Sipping Soup. Sipping Soup. And then Baby Face looks like a minty green. So we have this palette and this palette I'm gonna be pulling the minty green from. So we have Just My Luck and the Mint to Be palette. It is more of a mint color. So we're gonna use Dementh. Let's see how this one looks. Well, yeah, that's actually pretty close. So Dementh from Mint to Be, and then um, Chances Are is a really close color as well. So I think that one could be used as a color for that as well. Oh yeah, very two similar shades here. Just like Tatooine is almost like a salmon-y, corally color. So we're going to look at the garden variety. This one totally reminded me of that color. It's called Prickly Please. This is also a matte formula, just like that, just like Tatooine color. It's a little bit too pink, but it's really, really close. Hello Salem would be another color that might match really, really well. Hello Salem matches a little bit better than the one prickly pear, but they're both still kind of pinkish in undertone. It's kind of like a salmon brown color. Really, really close though, these two. Right here, the forest is kind of like a green gold undertone. So I'm gonna first look at third eye. Let's see how, this one's kind of like a yellow shift that might be too much, too much of a gold. Decently similar. The only other one that might work for the force is out of the Just My Luck palette, it's Charmed. Let's take a look at this one. So there's Charmed. And then Little Frog is a true green match. 
True Green Matte. It honestly looks a lot like this color here, which is in the Just My Look palette. It is Kiss My Hoss. This one's got a little bit more green in it. It's not as olive -y. So the two that really match Float Your Crib, which are kind of like a olive -y green tone, we have All of You from Just My Luck, and then we also have Bewitched from the Hocus Pocus palette. Those are literally the same shade. More for Little Frog, it's kind of like this color from Meant to Be, Kiss My Hoss, but this one isn't as quite as olive -y or grungy looking. Really close though. And then the last one is called Droid Protocol. So there's a couple of them in here that really like spoke to me. So we have Root 'em Up, which is from the Garden variety. And this is like a super dark brown. And that one looks like that one. It's a very dark brown coffee shade. And there it is. So those look really, really similar. Could you get the Mandalorian palette look from some of the other ColourPop shadows? I definitely think so. Especially if you own some of these already. So if you own ones like the Hocus Pocus, the Garden Variety, Just My Look, and Meant To Be, you do have very similar shades in each one of these. If you're a ColourPop collector like me, then you could definitely find a Mandalorian shade. Like you could find those shades in these palettes. Now do you wanna go digging into four separate palettes to get that look? Probably not, but at the same time, you've already invested in these four palettes and you know, save yourself like $16 and you could use these palettes. All right guys, so there are some palette swatches for you between these four palettes. You gotta, you get a very, very similar, if not the same look from the child palette for Disney's The Mandalorian. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a good thumbs up if you do. Are you going to be investing in the new child palette for The Mandalorian or are you going to pass on it and use what you already have in your collection? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say. We'll hit the subscribe button so you can see more from my channel and I will see y'all later. Bye. You don't need to sit in here. Why? Cause I get, I get embarrassed. What, does it smell good? Yes, it smells very good. Anyway, are you really gonna listen to me? I'm just gonna wait in here. Can you close your ears? Like put headphones in? <laughs>